There are seven levels of skill when it comes to creating images with Nano Banana, and each level unlocks exciting possibilities for the types of images you can create. But here's the problem most people have. They don't actually know which level they're at. They see mind-blowing AI images online, try to make something similar, and wonder why their results look, well, basic. In this video, I'm going to give you the complete roadmap for mastering Nano Banana. From the first time you type a simple prompt, all the way to building full image generation applications. By the end, you'll understand exactly how the pros do it, and you'll know how to get there too. Now, if you're new to Nano Banana, here's why this tool is such a big deal. Nano Banana is powered by Google's Gemini 2.5 Flash, a model that doesn't just read text. It actually understands both text and images together. It can remember context across requests, keep characters consistent from one image to another, and perform pixel-perfect edits that used to take hours in Photoshop. All right, let's jump in. Before we dive into level one, let's quickly talk about what makes Nano Banana different. Nano Banana isn't just another text-to-image generator. It's multimodal, which means it processes text and images simultaneously. So, when you upload an image and tell it to add a sunset in the background, it's not guessing, it actually understands what's in the picture. Another massive strength is character consistency. You can create a person in one scene and bring that same person into totally different environments, same face, same details, even across different lighting and angles. That's huge for story-driven creators. Then there's pixel-perfect editing. You can tell it to make the car blue or add a cat sitting on the chair, and it will modify just that area. No regeneration needed. And for composition lovers, Nano Banana supports 10 aspect ratios, from cinematic 21.9 to perfect square 1.1 to vertical 9.16 for mobile. All right, now that you know the basics, let's start at level one. Level one is the beginner level. This is where everyone starts. Maybe you saw an amazing AI artwork on social media and thought, how did they make that? You jump into Nano Banana, type something like a dog, and you get a dog. Cool, but nothing like what you saw online. Here's the secret. It all starts with a simple formula. Create an image of subject, action, scene. Let's test that. Example one, generate an image of a golden retriever puppy sleeping by a fireplace in a cabin, warm lighting, 4-3 aspect ratio. For the aspect ratio, you have to choose it yourself. Now notice what's happening here. I didn't just say a dog, I said golden retriever puppy. That adds specificity. I didn't say inside, I said by a fireplace in a cabin. Each of these details gives the AI more context, more to visualize, and the result, a warm, cozy image that feels intentional. Example two, create an image of a futuristic city skyline at sunset with flying cars, ultra wide 21.9. For each image, before you click enter, choose the aspect ratios you want to use. That's very important. Adding aspect ratio to your prompt is useless in Nano Banana. That ultra-wide format makes the skyline feel cinematic and expansive. Just by adjusting the ratio, we control the emotional impact of the image. Here's the key teaching moment. Nano Banana has deep world knowledge. When you say cabin, it already knows what that looks like. You don't need to describe every detail. Just focus on the elements that matter most to you. At the beginner level, even simple prompts like this can create mind-blowingly good images. Honestly, most people stay here, and that's fine. But eventually, you'll want more control. You'll notice that some images feel a bit generic. You'll want to choose the mood, style, and vibe. That's where we level up. Level two is where you start thinking like an art director. Remember how at level one, your images were good, but sometimes lacked personality? That's because you weren't controlling composition and style. At this level, the biggest shift is planning your image before you generate it. Where should the subject go? What kind of light are you imagining? What visual style will make it stand out? Let's go through an example. If I want to create an image of a woman running through a park, a level one user might just type that. But at level two, I'm going to be specific. Generate an image of a young woman in a red dress running through a park in the rain. Cinematic lighting, shallow depth of field, two, three aspect ratio. Now let's break it down. In the rain adds atmosphere. Cinematic lighting gives it drama. Shallow depth of field blurs the background so the focus stays on her. And 2-3 aspect ratio is perfect for vertical Instagram shots. 
See how those small changes make the image feel designed, not random? Let's take another example. Create a still life composition of a bowl of nano bananas on a wooden table with dramatic chiaroscuro lighting, oil painting style, square one-to-one. -one. Chiaroscuro, that deep light and shadow contrast from Renaissance paintings, immediately gives your image a professional look. And here's where you start understanding aspect ratios. 21-9 equals cinematic and epic. One-to-one, -one, balanced and social media friendly. 916 was vertical and immersive for mobile. At this level, you're not just generating, you're directing. But here's where things get interesting. What if your image is almost perfect, except one detail? The sofa is the wrong color, or the lighting's too harsh. You don't need to start over, you've just unlocked level three. You're becoming a refiner now. The game changer at this level is learning that you don't have to regenerate the entire image just to fix a small detail. Nano Banana can make surgical edits, literally pixel perfect, using natural language. Let me show you. I generate an image of my living room. Here is my prompt. Generate an image of a modern living room with a red sofa as the focal point, natural lighting from large windows, hardwood floors, and minimalist decor. 16-9 aspect ratio. Looks good, but I want to change the red sofa color. I want teal. So I upload the image and type, change the sofa color to teal and add a potted plant near the window. Nano Banana makes those exact edits. The sofa turns teal and everything else stays untouched. The lighting, the walls, the textures, all preserved. That's pixel perfect control. Here's another one. I wanna generate a portrait. Let's use this prompt. Generate a portrait of a person with a serious expression, direct eye contact with the camera, neutral background, professional lighting, two, three aspect ratio. But the person looks serious. I just say, Make the person smile and adjust the lighting to golden hour. And instantly, same face, same pose, now smiling under warm sunset light. At this level, you're not just generating images, you're having a conversation with Nano Banana. You describe, it adjusts. No masks, no layers, no Photoshop. One tip, if an edit doesn't register, like if it gives you the same image again, just add a bit more context. Say, change the sofa color to teal, keeping all other colors the same. The clarity helps the model focus. By now, you've mastered refinement. But what if you want to go further, to actually combine images? Maybe you want to blend yourself into a famous scene or merge styles together. That's where we hit level four. Welcome to the compositor level. At this stage, you're blending multiple images together, creating compositions that feel impossible in traditional tools. Nano Banana lets you combine up to three images at once. That's where the real creativity begins. Let's say I have a selfie in a vintage diner photo. I upload both and type, blend my portrait into the diner scene so I'm sitting at a booth in 1950s attire. And just like that, the model changes your outfit to match the era, adjusts lighting to the environment, and makes it look like you were really there. That's picture yourself anywhere mode, and it's addictive. You can also do style transfer. Let's say I've got an old black and white photo of my grandparents and I want to restore it with color. I upload that plus a colorful fabric pattern and type restore and colorize the old photo using this pattern's color palette. Nano Banana pulls the colors from the pattern and applies them authentically. Not random saturation, but a true palette match. Now for advanced users, you can even blend three images. Imagine combining a photo of your face, a watercolor landscape, a futuristic city skyline. You can prompt, blend these three images into a single concept art piece showing me standing in the futuristic city in watercolor style. That's full creative control. At this level, Nano Banana's understanding of context and lighting is what makes it magical. It's not just cutting and pasting, it's harmonizing everything. But there's one huge challenge left, keeping your characters consistent across multiple images. That's level five. Level five, character consistency and storytelling. Now you're a storyteller. If you've ever tried making a comic or a storyboard with AI, you know the pain. Your character keeps changing faces, hairstyles, and even genders. Nano Banana fixes that. The model can now maintain consistent characters across scenes. That means the same person, the same facial structure, even across different outfits, angles, and lighting. Here's how it works. I start with a portrait, this person. Then I prompt. Generate three images of this person. One playing guitar on stage with spotlights, 
one working at a futuristic computer and one hiking in a forest. Maintain the person's likeness. The results? Same face, same person. Totally different worlds. Now let's do a fun example with pets. I upload a picture of a cat and prompt. Create illustrations of this cat exploring different planets, wearing spacesuits, and keep its face consistent. And look at that, same cat, different outfits, same personality. This level unlocks storytelling. You can make comics, marketing campaigns, short films, anything that needs recurring characters. You can even change the camera angle. Same character now from a top-down view, and it still recognizes them. At this point, you're not just creating images, you're directing scenes. But if you wanna push the boundaries of what Nano Banana understands, if you want to sketch, restore, or reason visually, that's level six. At this level, you're exploring the deep intelligence inside Nano Banana. You're no longer just describing images. You're collaborating with an AI that understands images. Let me show you. I draw a rough sketch, literally stick figures at a picnic table. I upload it and say, turn this sketch into a realistic painting of a family picnic by a lake. Nano Banana interprets the stick figures, their positions, even the table, and fills in everything else the trees, the sunlight, reflections on the water. That's not magic, that's visual reasoning. Another example, you upload a faded 1920s photo and type, restore this photo with historically accurate colors from the 1920s. Nano Banana doesn't just colorize it, it uses its world knowledge to infer what furniture, fashion, and hues existed in that era. You can also ask it to understand images. For instance, identify and highlight all edible plants in this garden photo. It'll literally mark and label each one, combining image recognition with reasoning. This level lets you treat Nano Banana as both artist and analyst. Want a creative twist? Try this. Turn this photo into an 80s movie poster with neon colors and dramatic typography. It understands composition, design language, and style references. At this point, you're not using Nano Banana as a generator. You're using it as a creative partner. But there's still one final level where you go from creating single images to building entire experiences. Level seven, you've reached the innovator level. At this stage, you're not just using Nano Banana, you're building with it. This is where developers and creators combine image generation with full apps, workflows, and user experiences. Let's talk about an example, Bananamate. It was built this app using Nano Banana. You either upload one photo or use your camera, and it generates animated GIFs from your prompts and images. Let's imagine you're building something similar, like a virtual fitting room app. Here's how it would work. Users upload a selfie and a few outfit images. The app takes each outfit, blends it onto the person using Nano Banana, then arranges all outputs side by side. This is done through context chaining. The AI remembers previous generations as it processes the next. Developers do this using the Gemini API or AI Studio. You can control aspect ratios, set parameters, and handle responses programmatically. And it's free. But if you want more control over the API access, you have make a little payment. Nano Banana costs around $039 per image, or roughly $30 per million tokens. That's it's ridiculously cheap for building apps. Let's leave the Nano Banana area and click on the Build by the sidebar, it takes to a new page for building apps. You'll see an editor area with a prompt input box. This is where the real magic happens, because instead of writing a single image prompt, we're defining the logic of an image generation tool. Let's write the prompt that powers our app. Once you've pasted that prompt in, hit Run Control. And just like that, Google AI Studio starts constructing your mini app.
Now on the right side, you can test your app. Type in something simple, like generate this model wearing a red dress with gold accessories and watch Nano Banana work in real time. What's really happening behind the scenes is that Nano Banana is following a chain of logic you just created. You're not giving it a one-time instruction, you've programmed behavior. That's the power of prompt-based app creation. Every field, every instruction, every restriction you define becomes part of the model's personality. You can even tweak it mid-build. For example, if the lighting feels too harsh, scroll to the text editor on the left and just type in something like, ensure soft natural lighting and neutral background for all results. Save and rebuild, and it's done. That's how fast you can evolve your tool. This final level is all about ownership of creativity. You've moved from using Nano Banana to collaborating with it. You're not just creating art anymore. You're building the machine that creates it. So when people ask you, how far can you really go with AI images? You can say, all seven levels far. Here are some other app ideas. Storybook creator, upload a story script, generate scenes with consistent characters. Product mockup tool, take a product photo and place it into lifestyle settings automatically. Before and after simulator, perfect for interior design or fitness transformations. At level seven, you're thinking in systems, not single prompts. You're designing experiences powered by AI art. And that's where the real innovation happens, when you take everything you've learned from all seven levels and combine them. So now you've got the complete roadmap, from simple text to image prompts, all the way to building full nano banana applications. Here's the key takeaway. You don't have to master everything overnight. Start small, experiment, Get comfortable with each level before moving to the next. Every great creator you admire started with basic prompts. What made them experts wasn't knowledge. It was curiosity and experimentation. Try new aspect ratios, play with blending, explore storytelling, push the limits of what's possible. And one last note, all nano banana images include an invisible synth ID watermark, so they're always identifiable as AI generated. If you see weird behavior or artifacts, just send feedback through the Gemini app. Google's team is constantly refining the model. If you want to go deeper, I've got a full video next on mistakes users are making with Nano Banana. That's where we get into how people are using it wrong. Check that out next. For now, go create something incredible.